Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. I'm your host, Fred Schultz, and I got a great show for you guys tonight. Take my word for it. I have got uh, some of the coolest people on. Um, absolutely love it. Uh, tonight is actually kind of ladies' night, okay? And, uh, you know, there's a lot of ladies out there in paintball. Uh, I have tons of respect for them, and they're, they're starting to take over really, really good, and I am very, very glad for that. The ladies and the young guns are, are two big things that we definitely like pushing an awful lot because uh, I think everybody should be involved in paintball. I think paintball is for everybody. So the more we push it that way, the more it's going to happen that way. And, uh, you know, I, I got to first of all, I got to say hi to uh, Paul Farrell. Paul was the first one up. He is the first guy that chimes in every week. And there he is. So, Paul. I can't, I can't tell you how much I thank you. Uh, you and Ryan Courtney and Stephen Snow, you guys are the greatest. And I, I got a bunch of Facebook users. Um, Tony Diaz. What's going on, Tony? So glad you're checking in tonight, my friend. Tonight, I got some great people on. I've got uh, the ladies in paintball. I'm going to have B. Young Paxson. Uh, she will be checking in in a little while with us. I have Bond Girl. Bond Girl. I got to tell you, I had her on last week. This week, I can hear her. It's so cool. And then I've got a, a lady that I am so happy to have on, and I am so very happy that I met uh, Jessica Cortez out of Hawaii. Got to be rough there. Got to be rough in Hawaii, I guess. Uh, uh, some people are just going to have to do it. That's just how it is. And then I've got, uh, obviously, uh, Bill Bailey. He hasn't checked in yet, but he'll check in in a little while. And then I've got my buddy. Everybody knows Mr. Bud Orr. Uh, Bud's going to be on tonight with the ladies. So uh, I am really looking forward to this. I got a few things to mention before we pull everybody out here uh, because I'm kind of excited to have the, you know, I, I love listening to, to how people got started in paintball. Now I've got two brand new ones tonight, man, with Bond Chick and Jessica. They're going to tell us how they got started in paintball. It's pretty cool. You know, Bud and I know how we got started. It was years ago. You know, our, I think our first markers are made of wood. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, so anyhow, we are uh, going to uh, give a couple shout outs here real quick. Next week, I am going to have on Eugene Lazos. Now, he has Behind the Mask podcast. So I haven't uh, got to meet Eugene yet. I'm looking very much forward to that. I think it's going to be pretty cool. I talked to him for a little bit and um, I think it's going to be fun. And then the week after that, on the 13th, I am happen having uh, Patrick. Magoian and uh, him and I had him and his partner Tim on uh, Kordak uh, before. They have the podcast Frontline, very very good po podcast. I, I just I had them guys on and it was just a joy talking to them. And they're going to be back on again in the next couple of weeks. So uh, it's a couple of y'all for you to be looking forward to. It, it should be pretty cool. And I got Mark Gong watching here tonight. I mentioned the two Gong boys along with my shout outs. Because um, I've known these little guys <laughs> and they're getting bigger and bigger, you know. So that just means you're getting older, Mark. <laughs> I, I guess I'm getting older, too. That kind of sucks. Well, that hurt. But anyhow, I'm going to look past that now. Uh, anyhow, uh, Mark's watching tonight. Uh, very, very cool. Good friend of mine. And I got to go up in the Young Guns. Uh, you know, they're, we're working on a new team called the North Bay Young Guns. And uh, Scott McDonald is uh, doing a thing. So if you get on Flagpole, you're going to see we're having a raffle for them. Jump on Flagpole Productions and you'll see the site that you can jump to. Some of the prizes, uh, and we're still gathering up prizes. It's going to be a pretty good raffle. And uh, it, what it's doing is it's helping the team get jerseys and, and helping them go to cup and everything like that. And uh, we did it uh, for, you know, Mark Gong and, and the Hermans, which obviously is one of my favorite young gun teams. It's probably not my favorite young gun teams. I love them all, but the Hermans are kind of special to me because Mark and his sons are, are kind of special. And, uh, you know, talk about ladies in paintball, his wife, Lily, she's terrific in paintball, you know, got Lily. There's a lot of good women, you know, that, that I hope to have on in the future here, you know, Lily Gong, she's great. Uh, Lori Wilcox, another great person for a lady for paintball that's been around for a long time. Terry Ruddig, uh, another great lady in paintball, Terry Schloss, you know, Kathy Orr, 
um, you know, we're blessed with some women in paintball, and it's time that we start giving them a little publicity. You know, let's uh, let's start showing them how much we actually care and how important they really are to our sport. They really, really are. And uh, I, I'm proud to have these. I'm proud to talk about them, too. I really, really am. So remember, get on Flagpole Productions and check out the Young Guns Raffle. It's, uh, it's going to have a lot of cool stuff. i uh, going to probably have the spin here as soon as they sell all the spots. So uh, you guys want to go ahead and, and check that out, okay? And then I have to say a happy birthday. To, and this guy's in my shout-outs because he's been my sponsor. Hang on, hang on. It's been my sponsor for 32 years. Started with Air America and now Immortal Air. Today is Dan Covey's birthday. And uh, Danny... I, you know, I love you, brother, and uh, I just want to wish you an extremely happy birthday and, and have a good one. I'm sure you and Mary are out to dinner someplace. Uh, of course, I'm sure Mary's paying for it. But anyhow, I, you know, it's uh, I just want to wish you a happy birthday. You mean the world to me. You know that. Um, absolutely. And then I got to say hi to. Well, actually, let me just talk about this, first of all. I'm going to give the shout outs in just a minute, but we have the WCPL coming up in uh, October. And I just learned that Bonchick is actually going to be there. So now I'm really excited. I get to talk to her. Last week, I got to mime with her. You know, we did a little hand signals because her mic wasn't working. And um, but now I get to talk to her tonight live and then I get to meet her in just a few weeks. So I'm pretty excited about that. I cannot actually wait for that. That is so cool. And Dan, if you can hear me, buddy, you got all kinds of people uh, giving you a happy birthday here. So let me give my shout outs real quick. I start out each week with Mr. Tim Schloss. Tim Schloss had tiger stripe camouflage back in the day and the new tiger stripes coming out. And I tell you what's going to be cool about the new tiger stripe. It's not just going to be the original tiger stripe colors. We're going to start doing different colors, same pattern, but some speedball colors and stuff like that too. I'm, I mean, I'm pumped about it. I talked to Tim about it and I get off the phone, man. I feel like I just drank a gallon of Mountain Dew. I'm all jacked up. So I am very, very, very happy to announce that uh, we're going to have some pretty cool, pretty cool Tiger Stripe coming out. Same pattern, different colors and the original colors also. It's uh, very, very cool. And, uh, and besides that, Tim has the last WCPL tournament, the Gateway paintball tournament and it's in st louis in october so you're gonna absolutely love seeing that and then dan and john colby they have a mortal air i just wish dan a very happy birthday i've been sponsored by these guys for 32 years long 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 time so um i absolutely love them and then the next guy i mention every week he's gonna be on my show tonight and he knows i love him he's uh He's done so much for paintball. You know, I, I'd have to stay on air for the next month constantly to tell you about all the things that this guy has done for the sport of paintball. But uh, Butterworth, you know, he is, uh, well, you'll get to hear him tonight. You know, I, all you have to say is Butterworth's name and, you know, just a gazillion things run through my mind. And I'm sure everybody that, that watches the show and hears the name they know Bud. He's a, a terrific person. So, and then I got to say hi to Mr. Tom K. Tom K had air gun designs back in the day. Tom K was my second marker sponsor for a lot of years with the Automag. Still love the Automag. Love the Autococker. I mean, it, these were the two best markers out there. And Dennis Tipman, he had the best, I mean, the best rental marker you could ever want. It, uh, it was one of the toughest toughest markers I've ever seen. It's just incredible. Then I got to say hi to Rainy and Juvie Boucher. They had paintball news back in the day. You could go out to your field two times a month and pick up this paper. It had what just happened, what was going to happen, where all the fields were, what was new. I, I, it was just like the Bible of paintball, you know, absolutely love it. And uh, these were two great, great people. And they worked very, very hard for a lot of years for paintball. Then Randy Camilla had APG back in the day. Randy Camilla gave me my very first cover shot. Uh, just a, a, a great guy. And Connor Mayer Bryant is watching us from way down under. We got Connor from Australia checking in. Right on, Connor. The Southern Bell Bond Chick. Oh, Connor, I know why you're watching tonight. Oh, you're going to hit on Bond Chick. 
Oh, my goodness. That's cool. I'll bring my ratings up. I like it. And then I got to say hi to Jerry Braun. Jerry Braun had uh, Paintball Sport Magazine back in the day. Now he has Paintball Sport Field in Newburgh, New York. Um, we got to play out there. Uh, Bud and I got to play there with the band a few months ago. Great field. Great time. Great guy. Love it. Then I got to say hi to Mr. Ross Alexander. Ross Alexander at Line SI. He was my very first marker sponsor. I actually still have the very first pump marker I played in my very first big tournament, national tournament, when it was still 15 men. So Mr. Ross Alexander, great guy. Jim Lively. Jim Lively had the Masters back in the day. Two tournaments he wanted to do back in the day. One was Jerry Braun's World Cup. The other was the Masters. It was like a family reunion. Uh, when these two tournaments would be coming up, man, I, I a month out, I'd be so excited because I knew when I was going to go there, I would just meet absolutely everybody. It was so cool. Absolutely loved it. Then I got to say hi to Gino. Gino from Belkin. Gino does uh, a lot for paintball. I, you know, I'm pretty blessed. Uh, I, I get to know these guys behind the scenes, you know, uh, not just talk to talk about them or read about them. You know, I get to see what they do and, and hear what they do all the time. And Gino does an awful lot for paintball behind the scenes. Uh, one of them was uh, helping out for Tracy Perez. Uh, we had a, a raffle for her and a fundraiser and it went great. And I just heard that Tracy's back in ICU again. So, you know, Tracy uh, watches us every week. I uh, just want you to know, Tracy, uh, we love you, and uh, we just want you to get better. So uh, all our prayers out to Tracy Prez. Absolutely great, great lady. And then, without a doubt, every week I've got to mention the two Gong kids. Now, I mentioned Lily. Uh, Lily Gong is a terrific, terrific person. She keeps Mark in line. You know, now, guys, if you know Mark, you know that's like a full-time job. Okay? Okay. Okay. I've known Mark for a long time. Lily's tough. She can take care of Mark. But they had two great, great kids. And I'm when I say great players, I'm not kidding. Mark Gong Jr. and Jaden Gong. These kids will rock your boat. They are unbelievable. Um, and the young guns absolutely love the young guns and work very, very hard for them and think a lot of them. And remember, like I said, jump on Flagpole Productions and check out the raffle that's coming up with Scott McDonald uh, for the young North Bay Young Guns. All right. All right. Appreciate everybody hanging in there with me for that. I love you guys. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to bring out some people. I'm going to start with my my buddy from gosh, way, way back. Everybody welcome, please, Mr. Bud Orr. What's going on, Bud? Hey, how are you doing? Doing Glad good, to man. Be on the show. Thank you oh. for inviting me. Oh, come on. You know that shit. Anytime, buddy. And we, we got a we got a couple of real good ladies on uh Real good paintball ladies on here tonight. You know that? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to it. I, yep. Um, I've um, believe me, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we had one of them on last week, but you know, all we got was this. You know, so. Uh, well, it was sign language. Yeah. She was. Good it, at it, yeah. it was. Yeah. Oh, she was very good at it. Yeah. yeah. Until you clicked yeah. her off, it was great. And yeah. and I got to say hello to Kenny Stewart too. Kenny Stewart has a, a paintball museum. And he's just about got it together. He just about got his house together because he moved from, uh, I believe, Kentucky up to Michigan. So uh, he's just getting it together, and he's got a, a heck of a setup. Kenny, appreciate so much you watching us tonight, buddy. You're one of the good ones for sure. Yeah, so, he is. He, isn't sure. he a great guy? Oh, I love yeah. the guy. Absolutely. Yeah. I, you know, but I got to tell you, we have so many good friends. My God, you know, I, I tell people I'm not blessed for who I am, but who I get to know. I mean, we know the best of the best. Oh, believe me. Well, we spent uh, 30 some years at it. So, and um, no, that'd it's, be kind of hard because I'm only. For, you can't ask for any better friends. That'd be kind of tough, but I'm only 29. So, yeah, well, uh, you was in diapers when I met. Uh, no, yeah. I was in diapers <laughs> when I met you. <laughs> oh, 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 man. I was just about to send you a check for saying that. Now you come back yeah. the other way. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, it, it's still fun. It is. Yeah, I, I just love the people we get to know. And I love the young guns coming up. And I love making the ladies more popular. I think uh, 
I, I just think that the more involved the sport gets with the ladies and the young guns and everything, the bigger our sport's going to grow. And the more respect we're going to get for people. But I believe for people that don't play paintball, actually see the kids playing and the ladies playing, I think it actually draws more people into the sport. Oh, uh, the, the more mothers that uh, I've, I've run across a lot of mothers who used to bring their kids to the field. And uh, then they started playing. And yeah. then uh, the husband played, but then he ended up getting a divorce because mama liked it more than he did. So <laughs> I, I don't know what's about that. But, man, there are some killer women players out there, I'm telling you. I've run there, across some great ones, yeah. Absolutely. And we got two awesome ones coming on. Oh, we do. Actually, three. One of them, I'll, I'll tell you, B's going to be on in a little while, but she's singing a national anthem for uh, some kind of a show that's going on there tonight but she'll be checking in in a little while and i want to say hi real quick to a jody mahoney we had her on um a few weeks ago she's the yoga girl and i yeah. see her I, yeah i see her yeah you were on bud oh yeah, yeah. love her she's oh great. it was it, oh it was absolutely terrific yeah hey the only problem was it took my wife probably an hour and a half to get me untied but i did give it a shot so you know uh but you know what she was great, and she's another good one for paintball, too. And she, uh, I see her popping up on the Internet all the time now with different stretches and things for the kids to do when they go out there and play. So I think she, it's great. She's a great person for uh, learning how not to stress muscles. You know? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. my God. She is so awesome. She is. She really is. Listen to her. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Stretching is everything. It is. We got Jeff Thompson, yeah. too. Jeff Thompson up in Canada watching us right now. Jeff, terrific, terrific guy. Got to play with us in uh, New York. Hey, Jeff Tom yeah. Thompson, yeah. yeah, and Martin came down. What? I, great, I, great players, great okay, players. Yeah, darn good players. But, you know, off the field. You know, I rank a lot of, of, of what I think of a person off the field. You know, like I always say, you can be the best player in the world on the field, but if you come off acting like a jerk, you're not helping our, our sport at all because if there's somebody there watching and, and they're thinking about playing paintball and you come off, you're swearing and you're, yeah, this guy's a cheater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to say, they're just going to go home. They're going to forget about paintball, you know, and Jeff Thompson, guys like that, uh, they come off win, lose or draw. The attitude is always great. And, exactly. you know, that's to me, it's a big thing about the two Mark, uh, uh, Mark Gong's kids. They are, uh, Win, lose, or draw, they come off. They have the perfect attitude. It's it's unbelievable. It's uh, it's just a tribute to Mark and Lily. I it, it really really is. So anyhow, without further ado, what do you say we drag a? Now the only bad part about bringing these ladies out, but it's going to make us look bad. But I got to do it. Okay. Wait 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 a minute. Hold on a second. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does that yeah. look okay? Yeah. 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 yeah you okay. do. You know, I was going to magic marker the whole front of my head, yeah. but yeah, I only had enough to do half, and I figured it looked yeah. dumb. So. Yeah. Anyhow, without further ado, everybody, I'm going to start. Let me bring out a lady that I've wanted to meet for a long, long time. And I actually got to see her last week. And I, I think she said six words before her mic cut out. Please, everybody, welcome Bond Chick. Hello. How are good you? Morning. I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm doing great. And we appreciate so much you coming on tonight. I, I really, Bud and I have looked forward to having you on here. So this is really, really cool. This is I, I love it. my pleasure and my honor. Thank you so very much. Oh, and now you're just as, you're just as gorgeous as you was last week. Thanks, <laughs> but I appreciate that. Oh, you're talking to her. Okay, all right, I got it. You had me. It's on, all about man. you, Fred. It's all about you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to bring on somebody that I actually just met last week, and uh, I did a little research on her this week, and she comes two thumbs up from everybody. So mm -hmm. please, I want everybody to welcome from. Hawaii. Please, everybody, welcome Yay. Jessica Cortez. How are you this evening, Jess? Good. I'm very good. I'm really nervous. And you guys just talked me all up and I got all red and my cheeks hurt. So, oh, so cool. great seeing you. Yeah. So uh, yeah you. Don't don't be nervous. You know, I You'll mean, be uh, fine. Yeah, I mean, you guys can't see it, but my knees are shaking like Don Knox. You know, so, uh, <laughs> that's, that's you know, uh, it's everything's Fred cool, you know? You know. <laughs> hey, 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 Jessica, hold my, hold my hand, Jessica. Go ahead, hold my hand. Come on, get it up there, hold my hand. <laughs> there you go. That a girl, right on. 
Well, you know, um, I'm going to jump jump over to Bond Chick in just a minute. But Jess, I would like to know how you got started in paintball. Um, because, you know, there's always got to be a starting for everybody. You know, it's not like you just uh, materialize. Something something had to, to bring you into it. Something had to be in your mind that you just had to try this. Go ahead. Can you tell us about it? Sure. So... Um... I think it was either 2012 or 2013 was the first time I, I actually got to play paintball. But my one of my best friends, Warren Solario, he runs Maui Paintball um, with uh, Clint Hansen. Um, and uh, so he, he knew that my husband, uh, Mark, that he played in the past in college and um, – you know, we talked about it before, and he's like, you should bring him out and play. And I was like, I don't know what paintball is all about. I had no idea. And I'm like, well, um, it definitely sounds like something that we could do together. Um, and we were we were actually new to Maui, like maybe two years or three years in, maybe four years, I think, four years. Um, so we didn't really know much about what was here. We moved from Oahu, the other island um, where I'm originally born and raised um so coming over here i didn't know what to do with myself and i was like you know give us something to do together i figured we'd try it and um you know i've been a big girl all my life and i you know i was really athletic back in when i was a, a teenager play basketball and softball and and when i got out there and i could manage to to get kills out there i was all riled up i was like i could do this <laughs> i didn't know i could keep up or really enjoy it and i got i was hooked I, I like took a spill i got up took three kills and i think that was where it sealed it and i was like hooked i wanted to learn more i wanted to play every chance we got and um you know it, it's it's just been it's amazing very contagious and, yeah and i met I met a, another girlfriend of mine that was um, actually a coworker of my husband's and she was playing with the girls team that started out and um, the was uh, Valkyries and they invited me to, to join them and practice in the field. And I was like, Oh my gosh, this is really great getting to play with girls just like me and um, you know, stuck around and um, you know, practice with them and everything but i never really got a chance to participate in the tournaments i was too afraid when they did it the first time but i i kind of took a break and just just played you know rec ball for a few weeks and then i think um once our speed ball went up which was in 2015 i think that was where i was locked and loaded because the boys are like playing out there and I was like, I want to try, you know, like, but I was afraid because like I said, I'm a big girl. I've been a big girl for all my life. I was like, I'm going to get chopped up. I watched some guys get chopped up many times. Um, so but, you played tournaments then, huh? No, I, I mean, I do now. Yeah, I actually that's what I mean. have my own team. So, I mean, B uh, invited me in, in 2018 to, actually play with her and the destiny army i wasn't very comfortable with myself out there and i and i was like i don't think i'm ready let me let me uh you know try again next time and then she like a, a month or two later we talked again and she's like how about we get your own team started and then that's where i i started building my own team and i just happened to meet a bunch of people that i played with all the time every single week and i said guess what V Paxson invited me to build a team and and um are you guys game for it so first we were thinking about building it with the girls and then um they all had their other halves of course we all had our other halves i didn't want to leave them out so um, i said let's just do it co-ed and we'll we'll build it and, and start training together and and um eventually um start competing and our first uh, event was a three men and we didn't do so bad, but uh, definitely wasn't the results we were hoping for. But um, ever since then, I just kept going, and um, you know, over over the the years. Um, so the you guys still 
so you, got, you, you, have, you have your team right now. You have your team in Hawaii right now, then, right? Yeah. How many guys? How many guys? Well, wow, sorry about that. How many people? More guys. How many people <laughs> are, are on your team right now? Out right there now, in Hawaii now. Um, right now, like active players, we've got about ten, maybe twelve. Oh wow! So you got enough to practice against each problem. other then? Yeah. Actually, oh. yeah. So every very, week, very cool. there are about twelve of us to come out. Um, and for me. I think the drive came from realizing that um, I could keep up with the boys. Yeah. And well, I was going to give them a run for their money. <laughs> yeah. yes, yes, you know, that's yes. what I like. That's what I like about paintball, Jess, is, you know, you don't have to be small. You can be anything. You can be short. You can be tall. You can just anything. Yeah. Anybody can play paintball. Exactly. Period. That's why I love woods ball. You know, because um, yeah. I'm not fast anymore. And, you know, uh, we, we've talked them into making the bunkers yeah, higher. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's right, huh, bud? <laughs> <laughs> and, and so, anyhow, you know, I just, uh, I absolutely, that's what I love about paintball. Anybody can do it. And once you do it, you're hooked, period. It's, uh, you know, for you to go play and then not enjoy it, uh, I don't know, it's, uh to me, it's uh, just an absolute adrenaline rush, and I absolutely love it. So, yeah. Bond Chick, real quick, I have seen you in so many pictures. I have followed you for like two years. I was a guy behind you. No, I, I followed you for like two years. And uh, no, you, you, got you some... were behind me. Behind yeah. You. yeah. Well, you know, when I, Bud and I plan the same team, and what I call Bud is my moving bunker. So I stay behind him. <laughs> when Bud goes out, yeah, I drop yeah, to my yeah. knees and start crying. <laughs> but anyhow, so, but Bodcheck, uh, I have, I have followed you. I, you've, you've got some terrific pictures out there. I've seen some pictures of you in action that are, I mean, they're uh, magazine worthy. They are absolutely cool. And, yeah. uh, I waited a long time to talk to you. I, I got to talk to you for, I don't know, what, eight seconds, nine seconds last week. And then, then everything went south. But uh, please tell our viewers, because I, I know you are very big in paintball. Please tell our viewers how you got started in paintball, would you? Yeah. It was 2008. Um, my youngest son was about 13 or 14 years old, had gone to, at the time, uh, Oklahoma D-Day, which was the world's largest game, and gone for a week, came back, and he was the typical teenager, don't do what your mom says, I'll do what I want, play my video games. He came back from D-Day wanting to know how he could help around the house. <laughs> could he take out the trash? Could he clean the room? Could he help with laundry? And this kid's like 13, 14 years old what did they do to my son? So at the time they didn't have Facebook or, or Facebook wasn't as popular as it is now. They only had the D-Day forums. So I got on the D-Day forums to see who these people were and what they had done to my child. And the family environment on the forums sucked me in. And it absolutely was phenomenal. Um, my then husband had taken my, my son to D-Day and he asked me to help do some recruiting at a local field in Alabama, uh, Bear Claw, uh, which is now closed, unfortunately. So I go, I, I get dressed up and we go do some recruiting and met so many wonderful people. And at the time, the plan wasn't to play, it was just to be like a paintball mom. And when I realized how few people were there, uh, women, it, it was surprising, you know, why aren't there more women? And so I decided to create the first all-female team at Oklahoma V-Day. And we called ourselves the Valkyries. Yeah. And, uh, that is so ironic. Isn't it yeah. crazy? Yeah. So... The problem that I faced was in Woods Ball, there weren't a lot of women. And I mean, there were no women. There might have been two or three. They didn't want women in paintball. 
and uh, an email went out saying that I was bad for morale and they wanted me and my Valkyries out of the game. And I was ready to quit. Uh, Bill Bailey was my German field marshal. Um, and Peggy, who was the registrations person for D-Day, said, why don't you go ally? So I went allied. And for every one man that didn't want women in pole ball, there were a hundred who did. And I had a huge box of Valkyrie t-shirts that I was just trying to get rid of because I was going to get out of the sport. And my favorite memory to this day is all these men running around that field in these black and pink Valkyrie t-shirts as an in your face to those guys that didn't want us there. The ironic thing is, fast forward all these years, the guys that didn't want us there, they barely play anymore. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, you, you, you got to admit, though, uh, you know, like I was talking about earlier, you know, the more women and the, the more exposure the women get in the sport mm -hmm. itself, the more it brings people in. Absolutely. And, and, and you know, and it, it doesn't just bring in more women. It brings in the kids and it brings in men, too. Yes, it you know, does. I, it, it absolutely does because, you know, you're getting a lot of guys, too, that, that look at it and go, yeah, I don't know if I could do that. And then all of a sudden they see you ladies out there just kicking butt. They're going, if they can do it, I can do it, period. Am I right, bud? Well, you're 100%. You know, the ladies out there today, uh, well, I used to write articles for APG at, of the unsung heroes in paintball, mm -hmm. and that's the women. I mean, how many... You know, like Bob Long's wife, she ran the team. Phyllis, I yep. mean, I mean, that's it. My wife ran me. You know, she told me <laughs> yep. what's good and bad. I mean, without my women or the women in Hawaii, and my women, you guys, and it, it just, it's just a lost sport. But I mean, you guys are getting in it. I am so, 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 so happy. I mean, the more the merrier. Get on, drag them in. Show them that they can do. They can whip a guy's ass any day they yep. want. So I mean, that's it. In a Wait, you remember my team so, back in the day? I've said, I said my speech. Yeah, you, you know, I, I love you, you guys. Oh, we love you. You, you, you did yeah, good. You did good, man. I, I'm afraid to talk now. You did so well. Anyhow, um, <laughs> you, uh, you, you remember? Well, I, I met. Huh? I met B. Young when she was in diapers. I mean, what the? Oh, hell? all of them were. Yeah. You know, her husband. You know, uh, her husband, Mike Paxson. He played yeah. on the Ironman out here, you know, in Constant Pursuit. I had Constant Pursuit back in the day. That was my my team that I put together. And we played professional for a lot of years. And, oh, yeah. Uh, no. yeah. yeah. And, and we used to practice. You know, the Ironman, all of us lived together out here. So we used to practice and swap players all the time, man. You know, it, it was just incredible. So, you know, I knew Mike way before she married him. Well, and I, Constant I knew, Pursuit. Yeah. What's that? I met, I met Mike and... I, I met him when he shut my ass up really bad one day. So I mean, <laughs> we had a talk. And, uh, well, he, yeah, well, and he won. Great guy. Absolutely. Yeah, oh, he's great a tri guy. he's yeah. a terrific guy. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, he's, uh, he's one of and my favorites. You, you, you look at Constant Pursuit, my team back in the day. There was not a lot of teams that that had women on it. I had two oh. women on my team yes. back in the day, and the reason they were on it is not because they were ladies. It's because they kicked but oh, i mean shit. they they played extremely good you came and tried out for constant pursuit i didn't care what color you were i didn't care how tall you were how short you were it did not matter if you played hard you had a great attitude you were on my team period cut and dry and uh it's, it's like jessica sparks you know yeah great yeah. player the only thing oh. i didn't like about her she's a caught shooter you know, yes. <laughs> oh my god yeah i'd get hit i'd say jessica is that you she said oh yeah that's me she, <laughs> that, that's because she was short but you were tall you know, there's, oh, a yeah. reason for every, there's a reason for everything you know? that explains so, it <laughs> yeah that, that, there you go matter of fact i just texted with uh, jessica about a week and a half ago too um so you know we're uh, we're uh, talking about getting her out to uh get her on my show but she's in a moving process right now. So I don't know if everybody out there knows Jessica Sparks, but she's an attorney. Uh, she actually played uh, with Constant Pursuit a couple of times. I played against her many times. 
she worked extremely hard like Jerry Braun did back in the day to uh, make things legal for paintball because it, the headwinds for paintball when, when Bud and I started were incredible. I mean, you had to be there. To, it was just incredible. For every one person that liked you, there was a thousand people that thought you were a warmonger. It was it was yeah. extremely, yeah. extremely tough road to hoe. And uh, Jessica was one. Uh, Jessica and Jerry Braun, they were two uh, attorneys, and they jumped in all the time, and they did an you awful know, lot. Jessica didn't just do local stuff. We used to fly her to yep. town hall meetings yep. to, to support paintball. I mean, all over the United States. Wow. You know? That's awesome. So, yep, absolutely. She's, uh, neat lady. Neat lady. Yep. So, <laughs> so. If I had my choice, I would just do that. Fly me all over the place. There you go. So, hey, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll tell you something, you know. I'll be it, your pod girl. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 sounds, it sounds great. But when I was doing it, I had a kid come up to me one time and he go, oh, man. He, he says, I, I wish I could do what you do. And I said, you know. I says, I'm on an airplane half my life. I spend three weeks out of a month in motels. I eat restaurant food every day. I says, I hardly ever see my family unless I take them with me. And he's like, oh, that sounds so cool. So, you know, <laughs> and, 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 cool. yeah, until you live it, you really don't understand a lot of it. You know, it's... Uh, it, it it's fun, it's great, but it, when it, it becomes a job after a while too, it really really does. To me, it, it, the it one was, thing it was re it was really tough in the in the early days about oh, uh, keeping man. paintball going because there's so many people against it. it was oh really yeah, the first the first thing you'd say is I, they go, "What do you do?" I go, "Cause that's all, I was a professional paintball player." I go, "I play paintball." They go, "Oh, ping pong." I yeah. don't know. They, no. they still say that today. Yeah. Yeah, I know they do. Yeah. But we heard crazy. it a lot back then. <laughs> it was crazy, man. We got I Mark Gong talking about them. if you could wear skinny leggings, you were on the team. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I did the show at MGM Disney. I don't know if you two know that. But uh, I did a show yeah. years ago uh, on New York Street at MGM Disney for ESPN. And Mark Gong was one of the guys I took down there to, uh, to represent us uh, on the show. And uh, we all <laughs> we all had uh, Adidas sponsored us, so they sent us tights uh -huh. to wear. Okay, we we all had uh, um, like bicycle pants. They were long, long leg bicycle pants. And I got uh, it was hilarious, especially Tom K. Tom K. had air gun designs. He was one of the guys I brought down there too. And every time you turn around, he was doing the Men in Tights song, doing the can can and stuff like that. It, it was uh, absolutely hilarious. Well, you know? I have a message for Mark. Um, I watched that video. Oh, did you? And you definitely failed, Mark. <laughs> you <laughs> know what? It, what Bon Chick is talking about, you know, I, I love Mark. I'm going to see the video. I love his whole family. But Mark went through the alley when we were making a push on the other team, which was all my sponsors on that team. The other team was my sponsors. So anyhow... Mark goes running through the alley, and it looked like he tripped, and he had Dennis Tipman's uh, uh, marker, and Dennis Dennis's gun falls, and it slid about 25 feet. Mark gets back up, runs and picks it up, and and starts shooting again. Just, it, it's a great scene. But for all these years, it's gone both ways. Some people go, ah, oh, he slipped, and some people go, he tripped. Now, I was always in the tripped category. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Mark was always in the planned slip category. I would have said you. you oh, said hey, here we go. Here we go. Things to Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> and everybody, that, that is a picture of Mark and his lovely wife, Lily. Um, tr yeah, so just great. an absolutely terrific couple. Uh, and you know, you guys, you guys all know I love the Young Guns. You guys know I love the Hermans, and I'd like the new North Bay Young Guns that are coming up right now. Um, I'm going to ask you, Jessica, real quick. Is there a lot of younger kids now? When I talk younger kids, I'm talking like maybe from 8 to 16. Is there a lot of younger kids in Hawaii that are coming up that are doing that now? Yeah. Um, actually, for Maui, we uh, we had a summer camp um, for, 
I mean, I don't remember how many years, but before COVID, it was it was every single year we had like a, a couple of week sessions each, and we would teach them um, the fundamentals, and then we we'd have them use what they you you know what they learned in uh, woods ball, and then they would go and they would use that on the speedball field, and uh, eventually, you know, some of those kids would come back after they finish their summer camp or they invite their buddies and then they keep on coming back after that. Um, but since COVID, it's been a little bit um, different. We didn't have the summer camp, but I think everyone was bored out of their minds. So <laughs> they actually made it to the field and we saw a lot more kids come out from then on. Well, but you know, what's, me, what's I, cool, I, Jessica, I, is, is you take the time to go teach them. You know, yeah. and because, you know, if, if you, you take the time and you teach these kids like like Mark and and, and Michael Beard's another one, uh, Michael Beard, both these guys played on constant pursuit back in the day, too. And these guys both have stepped up with the with the young guns like you can't even believe they yes. are. Uh, they're not only two terrific guys. They were very hard at building the sport of paintball with the young guns. And Jessica, when you see these out there and, and like you were just saying, you showed them how to do this and how to do that and stuff like that. It, it teaches them the right way to get them and keep them excited in the sport. Because if somebody goes out there and you just get the heck shot out of you and you don't yeah. have any fun because nobody's taught you how to do anything. You're just a target for the day. You're, you're not going to come back. come back after that. Yeah. Yeah. So when, when the, um, you know, when things started to open up, again um we started seeing more kids come out and you know for me i've i've always had a soft spot for kids and and especially for the lady ballers um you know because i'm like one of the few that actually play um on a regular basis but we have seen a ton of kids come out and um you know i i spend time with a lot of the younger ones i don't have my own kids so uh, it, it's fun to to see the kids on the field get excited about it, and I love doing it. I love teaching them. So, um, you know, I'm probably one of the few that will, you know, put the time into it. I just felt like it was something that we needed here, you know, to put the time into to the kids. Not just there, everywhere. And, you know, my hat's off to you doing that, too. And Neb Nilla. Neb Nilla is, uh, that's not his real name. I know his real name, but I won't, I won't <laughs> say it on the air. But uh, he's up in Canada, and the <laughs> Jeff Thompson started the drinking thing, and it was last week when we were doing the show, and we had Bond Chick on, and every time that, that she would try to say something, they go, well, let's take a drink. So they were going to start a drinking game. So that's why I had to put that up. That's what that's all about. Very funny, Ben. Yeah. You know who he is, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, you know. Yeah, you in your area now. Um, you were talking about the young kids too. Now, you when you see the young guys out there, you go give them a hand and and try to steer them in the right direction, right, Bonchick? Uh Actually, not in my area per se. Uh, paintball isn't that alive and well in Nashville. It's just a rental field. Uh, there's a great field in Shelbyville called the Farm, uh, where Destiny Tennessee uh, plays and practices. Um, but I would love to give a shameless plug out to someone who yeah. is making a huge difference in the world of paintball and children's paintball. A guy named Desi Johnson. He lives in Orlando, uh, and he is at Battlefield Orlando Paintball Field. And he has a team, an incredible kids team called the Swamp Monkeys. And he was recently the Blue General for Super Game Maryland. And he's going to be the blue general for the Fulda Gap game in November, uh, four through six. If you get a chance to go to Fulda, man, please, please play with Desi because he's got an energy like I haven't seen in a long time. And the, the way he and Jeb, his counterpart, work those kids and teach those kids and talk to them and treat them, it's phenomenal. Um, well, you, I, you know what? Maybe you could have him friend me, and uh, maybe we could put him on a show sometime and, and uh, maybe help him out. Maybe um, absolutely. You know, not just grow his business, but grow the the amount of young 
young guns, you know. You will love him. Yeah, I, and you know, guys, it's like anybody, you know, it, when you make somebody feel good about themselves, they will pass that along 90% of the time, you know. Absolutely. And these, these young kids, if you make them feel good about what they're doing, and, and support them, you know, and that's that's where Mark Dong and, and Michael Beard come in. These guys, they support these kids so much. I, I get to see it, and I, I got to tell you, it just, uh, it awes me, and I, I, I can't even tell you how proud I am to have both these guys. They were both on Conscript Pursuit, and and then they went to the Ironman and so on and so forth, and now they go do this. It just uh, extremely proud of these guys. But that's what you need to do, everybody out there that, you know, when you see the young guns out there, do like these two ladies do, you know, go give them a hand, give them a, you know, give them a little praise, give them a little advice, you know, because, um, you know, both praise. Jessica and Bonchick. Hope you, you don't guys, get shot by them. Come on. I'm going to make buddies with them. And there, there's all these kids at this big scenario game in March. And I'm going, what, with kids? Like, we're going to play this game with kids? Okay, I'm, I'm struggling to keep up. <laughs> oh, hey, you should, see the, you should see the gong kids play, and oh my god, they're unbelievable. And little Graylin McDonald, he's a kid out here, he is it's just incredible. And I, I mean, there, Nico Podesta is just, I, I don't know how old he is, he must be 10 or 11. This kid is just a phenomenal player. Him and Mark Gong Jr., these guys, will they will rock your boat. I mean, and, and they're only like this tall, too. Yeah. So, I mean, they're out there just tearing Talk it Talk about up. your crop shots, Mr. Orr. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't talking about that, Bud was. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> well, blame, blame it on me. Yeah, yeah, you, well, you know, it's funny. It must have made an impression on you. <laughs> an impression for yeah, yeah. <laughs> well sometimes sometimes yeah <laughs> i love it yeah so you know I, I i just love the young guns but you know Bonchik, if you have him get a hold of me i would be happy to talk to him and um, sure may, yeah and maybe uh get him on the show sometime especially if he's working with the youngsters you know absolutely because uh that's one thing i just want i want to keep pushing uh big time is that somebody else here? I don't know who this is, but uh, is that who you're talking about right there? That's, oh, that's the name. Yeah, yeah. Desi Johnson. Yep. He does yeah. a lot for the young ones. He and his yeah. wife. See, both. That, that's the problem. You know, half, uh, probably 80% of the people that I see in the comments are Facebook users because they don't sign in right. So right. I can see it on my phone. I to do that too. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I was I, like, Hey, it's me, and like, <laughs> nope, nobody can see I, I know. I, a lot of them, you know, because Bud used, when Bud would watch, and I would see somebody go, hi, Bud, but all I would see is Facebook. Yeah, like, hey. Same way with Dan Colby, it's the same thing, you know? Everybody would be going, hey, Dan, what's up? And then I know he's watching, you know? And then he called me the next day going, hey, Freddie, I don't know how to, uh, how to get my name on there. So, you know, it's, uh, yeah, that's Danny, huh? <laughs> I figured it out before, but I don't know. I can remember. I'll do it. I'll do it tonight, just so <laughs> I'm ready for the next. Um, Jesse, I have, I have a question for you. Sure. What do I have to do to get your jersey? Oh, a jersey. One of them. I'm done. I'll make sure it happens. Yeah. Thank You're you. gonna come to Florida, right? <laughs> and, and not go to not go to folder, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll talk. We'll talk. I'm just we'll have my people call your people. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> no, we can make that happen. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Everybody, this is my wife Sharon. Whoops. That's hey. that's the top half of we're gonna go down. Have a chair. <laughs> I'll get a chair. Yeah, this is, I, I didn't know she had camera shy. Oh, she's real camera shy. You camera know, shy. Her, her and Kathy <laughs> both are, you know that? I, I get her on at Christmas time, and that's about it. So uh, here's a earpiece for us. Oh, Any everybody, this is my wife, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Hi. That's Don Chick. And that's Jessica, Hi, our youngest daughter's named Jessica. So. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, 
My He's a terror. Jessica. <laughs> I grew What's up that? with two, I said my sister-in-law's name is Jessica, and I grew up with two um, best friends named Jessica <laughs> in elementary. I, I yeah. love the name. Yeah, you know, that's uh, and no one can right. use it's one of those name. names you can use on a boy or a girl. Should, mm. Yeah. <laughs> Get Jess or got, Jessica. I get Jesse. Yes. My mom calls me Jesse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sharon. Go ahead. That's me. Thank you so much for supporting him through all the years of him going and doing and getting paintball to where it is now. Because if wow. you weren't there giving him the support that he needed, we wouldn't be here trying to do what we're doing. So it's because of the women in paintball, helping the women in paintball. So thank you so very much. If I ever got the opportunity to meet you, I wanted to say that in person, but- Wow, Bonchick. Thank you. So thank yeah, you. know, Bonchick, you're gonna get to meet her. Be quiet, we're not done. Sharon. Yeah, you're gonna get to meet her in October. <laughs> oh, wonderful, fantastic. She's going to Tim's. Oh, very cool, very cool. I look forward to seeing you. Yeah. So thank you very, very much. You're welcome. We appreciate it. Wow, that was very nice of you to say that. You know, she's been listening to me for like uh, two years, too. It, it's here, Mark Gong just said that. Now, Mark, I said that on my show last week. You're stealing, you're stealing that my lines. That is exactly what I was yeah. going to say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're stealing we my lines. I should line. have my husband come over here and read that real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's the truth, too, because, you know, uh, Sherry got to travel. She traveled all over the world with me, but oh, yeah. there was many times that she didn't. You know, um, I remember uh, when I did the show at MGM, I flew in, I got in at midnight, and, and back then they always had a chauffeur pick me up. So the chauffeur would go pick Sherry up and then come and pick me up at the airport, okay? So she picks me up at the airport. I got in at what, midnight flight. I get in at midnight, and she goes, MGM wants you back down there in the morning for photos you got a 610 flight so the chauffeur brought me home i was home for, i took a shower i was home for a couple hours mm -hmm. i was wow. the chauffeur picked me back up i was back on a plane going back there so that's how our life was back then it was uh extremely hectic and Fun. yeah and she would travel a lot with me but a lot of times she she just didn't go she couldn't go so mm -hmm. Cause, you know we had the family here and um right. i had my mom living with us which helped a lot because she would watch the the girls when we would go but uh mm -hmm. it it got to be um extremely tough and you know that too humbug oh yeah yeah oh. Oh, kids yeah. get to a certain age you can't leave them very long <laughs> yeah and uh so you the know, traveling and also go ahead buddy you know, you know what's great nowadays is all the women are going with us you know, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you'll get to meet my uh, my better half. And, uh, good deal. Yeah. Oh, she's, she's incredible. Oh, you're you're going to love her. Kathy's a good guy. As a matter of fact, you know, and she's tough, too, because she's hung with him all these years, you know. Oh, yeah. So, she, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she, she whipped my one, butt yeah. so much, you know. <laughs> well, you, you know what, what's going to happen is when we're in St. Louis, uh, you know, one thing we do, the band has got just terrific ladies. We 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 absolutely love our ladies. And uh, they kind of get together and they go do their thing. And we get together, obviously, and go play paintball. So when you're there, Bonchick, I, we are going to be extremely happy to have you hang with us. And, you yes, know, go out to yes. dinners and stuff with us. Because we go out to special dinners and, and we hang together. So I want to definitely invite you to come and hang with us. I think you Consider will absolutely hanging. love it. I would love it. Yeah, yes. yeah you, you'll like it. They, these these women are great. Uh, you you probably meet them and probably won't talk to us no more. But, uh. <laughs> well, that, that's much. the way it goes, you know. Yeah. You know, yeah. you'll, you'll come yeah, back with a different aspect on women, you know, a different look. Yeah, there you so, go. Yeah, you yeah know, it, it's like the guys. They're great. You know, some we win, some we lose, some get rained out. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I'm gonna doubt that. Yeah, I, I got it That's on the teachers. No, I. <laughs> okay. Can I can I copy it? Absolutely. It's yours, my friend. It's uh, yours. All right. So, Bud, we have a new gun coming out. A what? Do you have a new gun coming out? A new marker? Hey, hey, we're not supposed to talk about that yet. I. No. Oh, no, we're not. I mean, I don't know anything. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, and, and you just I don't, now, I mean, now you I don't either. Question. I want to know. It's not working. I can't hear you. I'm not. I'm mean, go, go back to this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's the flashy light thingy? I know, right? Oops. What did Bud I, say? I, push I, the red button. Yeah, push the red button. <laughs> drink, everybody, drink. <laughs> I got to tell you, Bud, that red button thing's gonna live forever. <laughs> oh yeah. Push the red button. Push the red button. <laughs> God, that was so funny. Oh, uh, that was. Oh. Yes. But anyhow, yeah, I, I've been talking to Bud about uh, uh, doing a 40-year anniversary uh, auto oh, cocker. Cool. So I've been bugging the heck out of him. We'll see what happens. You know, sometimes he listens to me. Sometimes he hangs up. You never know. Oh, I always <laughs> listen to you, big brother. Little brother. Well, yeah, yeah I'm talking to you today. Next thing you're snoring. <laughs> yeah. I got to well, call Kathy on the other phone to go wake you up. <laughs> I heard part of it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I thought it was a lullaby. It was just a dream. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. You know, you two ladies have been a pleasure tonight to have on, oh, on my show. I can't. Uh, it's been amazing. I can't even begin enough to thank you two. Um, Jessica, I am so very, very happy to have met you. And Bonchick, finally. finally. I have followed right? you for two years. I mean, this is years, the first time I get to see you know? her, too. So I'm very happy that this moment came right? together. Finally. Yeah. Well, well, Jessica, this isn't the last time you're going to be on this show. This is the first time you're going to be oh, on this show. Awesome. Okay. Well, I'm honored. Um, I really am. Yeah. When I, when I, when I have somebody on the show that I think is, is good for paintball and I think is entertaining and, and I absolutely enjoy talking to, they come back, take my word for it. Aww. And uh, you have, you have passed all of those tonight, Jess. Uh, are are you guys husbands very big? <laughs> Say again. Is Come your husband very big? My you husband, know? no, he's tiny. Uh, oh, Come okay. Here. Then I can I can give you a big hug. <laughs> no husband. <laughs> I get a big hug from you. Then you yeah. get a bigger hug. <laughs> I'm a hugger. You know. Oh, awesome! I am too. I, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I am thrilled. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? This oh, is no, my moment. No. How you doing, man? Right. Slide in there. How are you? Oh, oh, great. Oh. How about you? How are you doing? You got a this great wife. This is my hubby, Mark. Yeah, yeah you, you, you got a good wife. Man, if I'd have known that he was here, we would have dragged him out earlier. Oh, he was in the other room. Yeah. He was trying to get me quiet so it didn't like you know, <laughs> cause any trouble. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. I, uh, I'm Fred. This is Bud Orr. This is Bon Chick. This is my wife, Sharon. Hi. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. Yeah. He's so, really Jessica, yeah. I, I am going to let you be the first uh, because I, I have just about run through my hour here. I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody. Um, but I want to, right up front, I want to thank you so much for coming on my show tonight. And I would like to give you an invitation, if you would, to come back on my show again sometime. Oh, anytime. Anytime. So I'm going to let's say goodbye to everybody. You. Keep in touch, uh, Jessica. I Keep will. Thank you so much. Love yeah. you guys. Love you. My you guys, pleasure. Really. All right. Bye-bye now. All right, everybody. It was Jessica Cortez all the way from Hawaii. She did a great job, didn't she? She did, absolutely. Oh, and she, and she goes at the beginning, I'm nervous. She knocked it out of the park. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Ah, she knocked it out of the park over there. <laughs> she did a great job. Bonchick, you're next. Sweetie, I want to tell you, I am very happy that I got to talk to you. Me too. I mean, the, the, eight, the eight seconds we had last week just didn't do it for me. <laughs> so <laughs> I just, uh, I am so glad that everything worked out. Me and too. I, yeah, <laughs> but still talking to you there. <laughs> I'm glad I thought you were having a stroke. Okay. <laughs> bon I'm chick, having a uh, stroke because she's so beautiful. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. You are such a schmoozer. I love it. Write that down for me. No. <laughs> bon you, you, chick, owe me I, a, you owe me a hug. Know that. Oh, yeah. Oh. All of them, yeah. definitely. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. well, she, she's gonna, she's gonna be in October. Yeah, she's gonna be there in October, man. Your shoulders oh, gonna be sore. I'll be hanging on to your arm, Mr. Orr. Absolutely. <laughs> bud, not Mr. Orr. I'm Bud. You got it, Bud. 
I I'm love so it. happy with you. You, you bet it. Yeah, just bring it, Kathy. <laughs> Here we go. Facebook user, you're great not, show not, as always. You're not bringing your husband, are you? No husband. Okay, then that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't want him hitting on me. No. Yeah, there you go. So, punching, not hitting. Punching. Yeah. You're sweating, bud. Anyhow, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you've, been, you've been an awesome little young lady yeah awesome. thank you yeah you you thank did you a everything. yeah you did a terrific job yeah, yeah. you want to see what well she was thanking you while i was talking so oh my pleasure my honor yeah well what you what you said uh what you said about the the women i think was terrific about my wife and i appreciate that very very much it's the truth. and you I definitely want back on the show. Um, I want to. I want to start by saying I love the pictures you take. I, I, some of them are just absolutely great, great, great action shots. You got three greats. Very rare do I give three greats, <laughs> um, but uh, great you know. action shots. You, uh, you, just terrific pictures, and you were very, very good tonight. And I am looking forward to having you back on again. So I'm going to let's thank say you. goodbye to everybody and thank, thank you, you so one much. more time for being on here tonight, young lady. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you very much. Thank you I very greatly much. appreciate you. I love you all. Thank you. Good night, Sharon. We night. love you. We love you. <laughs> love you too, babe. You take it easy. I will. Bye-bye, doll. Good night. <laughs> Bond chick. Oh, my God. How long have I waited to have her on? Holy scamoles. <laughs> I've waited a long time to have that lady on, bud. I, what I'm do you think of off of cloud nine. Yeah, it on, it is. Back. It is. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm not even I'm, on my chair. I'm, I'm still floating, floating over there. here, buddy. I'm still floating. Yeah. 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 It's good to see, see the chicks out there like that. It really is. It is. But I appreciate so much you coming on tonight to it's being fun. on with the ladies. Um, I think Had that is so cool. Had a blast. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You know, uh, I love you, man. You know that. Oh, I love you too, dude. And yep. that little so, lady next to you. you. Yeah, there you go. Hut. Well, hang on a second, and uh, I'll, I'll pull you back up in the green room in a minute. Okay. All right. All right, All right everybody. It's Mr. Oh. Bud Orr. So I uh, I want to thank everybody for watching tonight. You guys, um, you know, my audience, I cannot thank my audience enough. Look what Mark said. Sherry's the best. <laughs> oh, Mark is my best. I know he's a great guy. Good yeah. promoter. Like what he's done with it, those kids. Oh, it's terrific. Yeah, I, I, I brag him up enough. Don't you don't have to brag him up. I handle it. I handle it. I said I'll oh, handle it. Oh, oh, he is. No, oh, yeah, him and Michael Beard. Yes. Top even, of the line. Even Michael. Yep, absolutely. So, uh -huh. all right, everybody. Uh, again, I appreciate so much you guys watching tonight. Uh, I want to thank again the ladies for being on here tonight. They were absolutely terrific. And as, as always, you know, uh, but or I can never say enough about that guy. He is um, he's just an extremely special person to me and he will be to my dying day. That's for sure. So everybody out there, remember next week, next week, I'm having Eugene on from behind the mask. It's going to be so cool. I can't wait to talk to this guy. So until next Tuesday evening, seven o'clock Pacific time on Facebook, on flag. Pull Productions, please play hard, play safe, play fair, get out there and play paintball, huh? All right, everybody.